Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are about to talk to Avalok. I've been actually looking forward to this for quite a while. So, Help oh, protect hello. Ciri from the Wild Hunt and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. <laughs> our relationship is super solid right now. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. But how would Rita know that? How's Rita know? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. I would love to not be a part of that discussion, thanks, because... Lots of reasons. Geralt. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Wars are never enough round. Good work, gentlemen. Those boards are looking mighty clean. Look familiar. Oh. How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea. Her plan. <laughs> that must be a new spell she's working on. How the witch hunters nab you? Margarita Loantiel would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrath before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. Burned, alive, one after the other. The most talented girls in the north. Radovid was saving me for last. Wow. I feel for you. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Viruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins, promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. Hmm. Farewell, Rita. And, uh, Philippa, since you seem so eager to be involved well, here. what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Would you rather me not have? Where's Saskia now? She managed to free herself of your spell? I lost control of her when the war broke out. I've no notion where she is. I know you used her, but couldn't escape the impression that you actually cared for her in some way. Really? Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... <laughs> Do you not remember we were once lovers? You're so Maybe innocent. It's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. <laughs> Farewell. 
Okay, well, you two just, um, you know, enjoy your, enjoy your time in here. I'll be not in there. Alright, we got real pirates. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Looks that way. Anchors away. It's beautiful. That's for sure. settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Okay. I'm not asking about teleports. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Okay, but like, physically, what is it? Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Dallas, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Galban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet, she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Carry on anyways. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. <laughs> Always the cynic. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. Oh, of course. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion, I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. All right, I guess I don't have a choice. Get me on Can that you ship. Teleport me onto Amir's ship. Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. So, think they know we're here? Emir's mages. Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. 
I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck. Not like we haven't done it before. The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. All right. I'm off. Good luck. I'm a bit worried that we're not protecting this letter from, well, water. Well. All right, you guys are okay. Very welcoming. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks, Yen. See you later. For good this. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> freedom. Always had a taste for it. It's even Still more do. than freedom, I'd say. So why'd That's... you return? <laughs> Incredible. It's too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. That's an interesting point of view, actually. I can kind of see that, like, once once you get to the point where you're so powerful that you can literally do kind of anything, like, what's kind of next for you? It's tough. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever only. I please. He wherever can only I do please. that. So how does Aridin locate you? Is it when you use your powers it kind of sends like a signal out or...? Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Okay. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Huh, okay. What determines the length of time between the worlds? That's a question I would love to know. I should go. Alright, we'll talk later. Okay. Well, Geralt. Oh, not you, Yen. I'm sorry. God. Thanks, Yen. She's gonna be so mad See if I keep bugging her. Yes, Geralt. Margarita, any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want that. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Okay, good answer. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns and gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaving him long before he was born. What? For centuries, I... 
brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. <laughs> He's breeding humans golden or Golden child who grew elves. up to be a criminal. That's crazy. Okay, so what's your real motivation here? You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. <laughs> Why are you helping her? Protective because father instincts danger. kicking in. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the elder blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. I don't disagree with you there. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yes. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. And vice versa, to be fair. So long. You know what I just realized? Hmm? Except for the two of us and Siri, Geralt has slept with every woman on this ship. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only a matter of time in your case. Oh, weird. <laughs> hmm? I heard that. What do you want? Nothing anymore, thanks. Farewell. All right, Whoa, let's leave oh, this place. Now, we had a whole bunch of things happen here. Um, ask Croc where Ermion is. Sneak onto the Emperor's flagship under the cover of darkness. As an attentive reader, you surely remember that the Wild Hunt can only be defeated with the help of powerful magic. And for this reason, Geralt had recruited the most powerful sorceresses in the world, both those he liked and those he utterly detested, to join his cause. When a chance arose to add Frangilla Vigo to the roster, Geralt seized it without a moment's hesitation and went straight away to the Emperor's ship where the dark-haired sorceress was being held. Find the Sunstone, pick up Fringilla on the Emperor's ship. Okay, so we're going to want to do Sunstone, find out where Ermine is. This will lead into battle preparations, and then once we have both of these, this will probably update uh, to something different. Was it hard? Killing that vermin? Friends, we show Croc, our it's been bones, a while. We show our Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. Oh, yeah. They at our gates seek to strike fear in our hearts. So fire a few trebuchets out there. Mean? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... <laughs> uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Alrighty. Yeah. Nor that Wait. Well, that's another druid. Wanted to talk. I found Siri. Ah, I knew you'd do it. Safe and sound, I trust? She's right on the yes, boat behind you. she was fleeing from the wild hunt. Bring her to care, Trold. She'll be safe here. And I must see how she's changed after all these years. Go see her. She's right there. See ya, Crack. I can't believe that we wouldn't tell him that she's, like, 40 feet away here. Go to the boat, Croc. Go to the boat. She's right there. Oh, he's not gonna see her. That's too bad. Okay, so whereabouts is this place that we're headed? We are going to Care Muir, and we're way up here, so well, probably gonna jump down. Our 
You know what we could actually do is we could check where the wolf gear is, and if it's on the way... Okay, so that's way out there. I really wish we could zoom out further. This one's this one's on the way for sure. That's something we could check out. And then I know we have one over to the left in this area. And we have one at the old watchtower as well. So, why don't we just grab the old watchtower? Since it seems to be right on it. And then we'll definitely make our way uh, back to where we are. We'll go down, and then we can meet up with, uh, with Ermion. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Yeah. I don't know why I felt the need to grab that axe head, but... Could this be it just sitting here? No. Not quite. the same one that we saw. Well, where could it be? We're looking for the trousers upgrade. Wait a sec, what's up here? Ah, look at that! That's tricky. Boom! Master crafted trousers. That's awesome. Okay, and then... You know what, we might as well jump down here and grab this. It's so close. Devourers. It's clearing up. Let's do this. A lot of people are suggesting to sell off the uh, the bolts that I guess I'm not really using a lot of. Um, I should just throw these in here because why not? They are worth quite a bit though. Like look at that. Look, I have these split bolts worth close to ten thousand. Um, so maybe I'll just use. Man, maybe I should just sell all of them. Actually, that could be great advice. Look at these. I did not realize these were that. Pricey. Yeah, we'll just stick to our regular bolts. Feel free blowing up there. Oh! Speaking of the crossbow and the bolts. What now, you piece of filth? Oh, damn it. Woohoo! 
Ooh, okay. Now, wait a sec. Are we not even... No, it's beyond here still. Oh, we passed it. This one was in a pretty tricky spot. I have a feeling this one's probably up higher there. Or maybe not. Boom. Okay, let's head back. We can grab the last piece and then we can go talk to Ermion. These ones are pretty accessible, so... Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm glad we checked that out, actually. So let's head into Boxholm. Let's go, Roach. So a lot of people have been correcting me that I now have a different horse. Because we had won this horse, or he gave us a horse. Um, and this is definitely not a she anymore. So, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I've been probably causing you a little bit of confusion the last little while. The fiend. Whoa! Holy. Missing... S oh, this is tied into the Missing Sun quest. All right, let's go ahead and throw on... The fiends are relics, if I'm not mistaken. Or are they beasts? Let's see. I think they're relics. I always get confused. They are. Shit. Let's go, big boy. Oh, shit. That's right. I gotta avoid that. Look at all the damage we do, though. What? Do we deal more damage to him while he's... while we're hypnotized or something? Honestly, I think we might. That's really bizarre. Oh, maybe it's just the critical damage that we're doing. Why is he not dying? See, now we're hitting him for zero. Maybe I have to kill him while hypnotized? What? That is bizarre. Its wounds. Need to track it down. Oh. Okay. Need only the entrails. Fussy. So missing sun mm. would have brought I us here. Look around some. Oh, there it is for sure. That's got to be it. Like, who's storing stuff like this? 
There we go. Now, let's go and talk to Ermion. He's not too far from here. We'll come back and handle the missing son later. This feels like it would be a bit of a priority. Jeez, sorry guys. Thought you might be bandits vandalizing this place, but sorry. Enjoy your your prayers. I'm pretty sure there's like a big tower out in Skellige that I still want to check out. I want to say. It's on Unvik, but I think I'm mistaking that with, like, the common phrase of the giant of Unvik and thinking that I've heard the tower of Unvik, but I don't think that that's actually a thing that's really happened in existence ever. But there is a tower somewhere that I kept seeing, and I don't think we've ever been there. You can see it from the, uh, from the place where we just talked to Croc, actually. Now, hold on a second. How am I going to get up here? Oh, uh, we actually have to go all the way around. So I'll tell you what, let's head to Fires or Fearsdal. Whoa! Come on, Roach, I need you. Buddy. I really wish one small change for for Roach was that whatever you have marked, like, the priority would be to take you there and not just have a 50-50 chance of choosing a direction on a path. Maybe it's operator error. Could be. Ah, uh, this lovely place. Swords, but I prefer my trusty axe. And what else? There he is. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to hate the black ones? But sooner write the rights of bleeding more harm than that crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. So... You want to be the king by the grace of Nilfgaard? Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. If it has to be. If Crack send you here for my head, well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Are you kidding? I did not need that to happen, Lugos. Like, these guys, if they honestly think they have a chance, they are sorely mistaken. Let's just check what Lugos had on him. My god. Didn't have to be like that. 
didn't have to end like that. For any of your mates here. Good work, Hermion. Where are you, uh... Oh, we're trying to still get out of here. Very confident sounding. Oh! Don't worry, Ermian, I got this. I feel like when we kill them and we take their lunch, it's like the biggest insult possible. I didn't know that was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't call him madman for nothing. How far do you want to go? How's this little area? Oof, that's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. Well, Geralt. I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. <laughs> Sorry. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige. God, this crowd. is bad. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kertrolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! An agreement? Only Krach believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? It's a long story. How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, or failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. 
Have you ever heard of the Sunstone? Listen, Hermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. <laughs> I'm asking Monsters a lot. may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the NCA elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Okay. Why is his name Fishlung? Fishlung? Interesting. So Swims underwater? Submerges yeah. for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Which are? Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the definition of not personal. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect <laughs> us. Classic Ermian. Classic Ermian. Now, I would- I would like to talk to both of these, um... Both of these people. The bard is a lot closer than, uh... Than the divers? It probably makes sense to head down to Holmstein's port. Winds howling. Yeah, it is. Look at it. The trees, not the wind. Okay, this is getting interesting. We've got a bit of a civil war on our hands. Might kind of be our fault, even though he says, well, it wasn't going well anyways. Uh, and now we're going to go talk to the bard, Ivan. Wish me luck. 